All right, Forrest Dump. Jenna. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering how long it would be until somebody does it. Uh, uh, okay, so me and two of the guys were at a music festival a few years back. After a weekend of lots of booze, little sleep, and amazing night, Sunday morning came. That's that's the worst <laughs> part of the music festival, isn't it? The Sunday morning is never the worst. Oh, and I always feel yeah. having been those bands that are playing on the Sunday morning. Yeah. Is it worse for the being the band? Oh, hundred percent. You you know that nobody, everybody there has been having a great time until your set. Yeah, if you're on at eleven o'clock on a Sunday, you can have a tell. We did one festival. We headlined on the Sunday, which yeah. like your headlining festival. This is amazing. Yeah, but Sunday. Yeah. And you could like we were playing the same time as um, oh, who's the fucking guys? Uh, Beach Boys. Wait, the Beach Boys. The Beach Boys. Yeah. Oh, you're we, fucked. Well, yeah, we started playing. We started playing the first song. A couple of people watching. Beach Boys started doing um, what a good vibration. Uh, and you saw the around. entire crowd go that way. But that's just, yeah. Yeah. First yeah. Uh, well, you can't eat, like you can't win. <laughs> you can't win. Well, no. who would you rather see, me or the Beach Boys? The Beach Boys. <sighs> yeah, just. Uh... Out. <laughs> yeah. I also, you just smell of bonfire on Sunday. Yeah, the Sunday morning festival is not the place to be. No. It's, that yeah. Um, so, uh, Sunday night, Sunday, sorry, Sunday night, Sunday morning came. Uh, where we camped was at the bottom of a field and the toilets were at the other end, but 20 yards away uh, from where we were was a big old fence that backed into a forest. The fence was basically used as a urinal. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, festival. Yeah, I mean, yeah. everything is used as a urinal, isn't it? Yeah. At a festival, I've seen people be used as urinals. <laughs> <laughs> you go to some weird festivals, man. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna come? <laughs> uh, I'm <so>, headlining. <laughs> <laughs> there's a fence basically used as a urinal. Urinal, urinal. Who cares? Uh, so we had no issues for the most <laughs> and most of the weekend, despite the odd smell of piss when the wind wasn't in our favour. Yeah, no, no, you don't really usually smell piss at a festival unless you're near the place well, yeah, where the piss is happening. So, uh, yeah, urinal fence, uh, and we so they had no issues for the most part uh, the weekend, uh, despite the odd smell of piss when the wind wasn't in their favour. Mm-hmm. Uh, this Sunday, we all woke up and needed a bit more than a piss. Uh, we headed up to the caged bit of the Portaloos, top of the field. But, oh no, a queue. What else? Yeah. Yeah, First, yeah, yeah. So you got a time. That's a special timing there. Four in the morning. When you start barking, <laughs> you go. Yeah. Actually, I, I'm lucky enough to say that I've never needed uh, a shit at night time at a festival. Because you're a la fucked, right? I think a lot of people would just bring, like, a spade. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just kind of fling it. My first red... <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, Queuing wasn't something that we wanted to do when needing to release a behemoth of Sunday morning beer fueled poop. (laughs) Uh, So we looked around for options. Despite the urge to just drop trouser and go then and there, we saw a better option the forest. That's a good option. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, Thousands of years we've been pooping in forests. I pooped in a forest once and pissed on myself by accident. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. For fuck's sake. We'd been basically on weed and um, cocktail sausages the entire time. <laughs> did, did you uh, did you combo. bury it like in case of bears? Yeah, <laughs> I mean we were in Surrey, so <laughs> yeah. no to the bears. But like, you they don't know this is it. Didn't I did, bury I did a fairly good job. Like I th- probably didn't do a good enough job. I just pushed some leaves over it. <laughs> so fully on. Even that was too much. Walk away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Walk away. Leave the fucking out. Um, so. My motto in life. <laughs> oh, I don't like where they're going with this already. Sneakily, we walked back past our tents to this fence, found a blind spot in a corner, lifted the fence, and went into the forest. Oh, good. So they carried on past the tent. Because we've all been at festivals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poos near tents. When you hear that dull thud on your tent roof, and you're like, <laughs> oh, I don't even need to look. I know what that is. It's the sound of turd on top. My fa- so uh, my fault entirely. I didn't quite put the fence back, so it was pretty noticeable that somebody had gone through it. Uh, and then while we were all squatting behind some trees, a bunch of festival security found us. <laughs> Pooping with friends. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to see here. Yeah, do you reckon they're all in like a circle holding each other? Holding hands. hands. <laughs> Um, push Sam I got you bro I got you (laughs) (laughs) come on with Stephen Uh, Sam not his real name was in the middle of uh, going so asked one of the security guys standing over him from bog roll (laughs) (laughs) I love the balls of that but then actually to be fair like 
what are you going to do as a security guard? You can't stop. You can't push it back in. Nah, Mason. Like, Mason. <laughs> Mason. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any paper, but I do have. <laughs> uh, oh fuck! That's got to be the most horrible thing in your life. If, that's got to have happened, right? Yeah. Somebody's been maced while shitting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A hundred percent. That's the you know like they say like you know if you have like a, a, an infinite number of monkeys, eventually one of them writes Shakespeare. Yeah. Eventually, a monkey will mace you while you're pooping. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, that has that happened? Internet, assemble, <laughs> send us in a story of somebody being maced whilst def- defecating by a monkey. In fact, we'll take any fucking animal. Doesn't have to be a monkey. Doesn't have to be a monkey, but it would be funny if it was a monkey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And if the monkey had a little waistcoat. Oh, now I'm asking for too much. Stories at threadgentleman.com. Have you ever been maced while pooping? <laughs> send them in. In fact, people, more animal stories. Yeah. In general. Animals got to live. At the end of the story, and I don't really want things going up. In fact, no, 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 I want no, animals. Animals. There's no animal animals. stories. Animal doing the, doing the thing to the person. It's got to be. Yes, the and the animal <laughs> is wearing a waistcoat. <laughs> Fucking hell, getting it. Um, so, where were we in the story? He asked him for a bog roll. The security guard handed Sam a single sheet and told us to get up as we were getting kicked out. Wait, so he had toilet paper? I guess he had a tissue or something. Well, you're going to take something if you're going to go Ooh, for a, dumb, a soft gonna... velvety Kleenex on your whole single ply. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my finger went but through. a single sheet. <laughs> yeah. The cheek of the guard. Just like, you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 he's the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, despite it being the last day, we still had no desire to leave, and the security were all threatening to cut off our wristbands. Um, uh, just rub your wristband in your own shit. They yeah, yeah. It. Your move. <laughs> mm. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, get the fuck out of there. Now you just have a pooey wristband and, and no festival. Yeah. Uh, Who's winning? <laughs> Go home. <laughs> uh, so uh, they asked them to give them 20 minutes to pack up their stuff uh, and be thrown out. Uh, whilst waiting for security team to get enough phone signal to call the boss to come, why do you need the boss? Three men shitting. If I'm on, a, if I'm a security guard on minimum wage, I'm calling the boss. This is above my fucking pay. Grade. <laughs> yeah, well, but at that point though, like if I'm a security guard at a festival where you're not really doing that much anyway, or I'm sure you are, but just for any security guards out there, I'm sure you do do a good job. It, it, like, if I see... Not a community you want to annoy there, Ben. <laughs> Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Multiple gentlemen shitting. I go, nah. Nah, nah. P- pull away. Yeah. Pull away. Yeah. I don't want this conversation. Also, I don't want to be near you. I've just remembered I've got some mace. <laughs> yeah. Ah! But also, like, I don't want to be near one person shitting. Yeah. There's multiple men shitting here. The other guys were giving it all of the chat. Uh, they had trying to get us out of this. Well, you know, try your best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. D- d- pull your trousers up first. Um, so no, they try and let, let it all fly out, will they? <laughs> well, they did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so they were trying every smooth line they had in their arsenal, um, trying to, to wiggle them out of the, uh, the situation. So, you know. Yeah. Uh, so um, uh, now with it being my fault and we got caught in the first place, I thought I would take ownership of the situation. Standing there, I proudly said to the security guard, well, you could just let us go. <laughs> I like this guy's balls. <laughs> Just go for the jugular, basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. You could just like close that agree that you know? this is not a situation any of us want to be in. I have a crisp five pound note with your name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> By the way, it's a security guard. Like, there's not a copper. Fuck, pay them. You're back in. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're not wrong, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you're not wrong. That would be a great idea. Just stay well. Just pay him. What yeah. are they going to do? They're going to turn around and be like, oh, that's against the law. You go, yeah, hey, just yeah. here's your fucking 50 quid for the boo. This guy's going to wank you off. <laughs> <laughs> if the, yeah, if the 50 wasn't enough, we got a couple of other surprises. <laughs> uh, so I could, feel the, uh, I could feel them looking at me, ready to kill me. <laughs> Harsh security, man. They're really good at their job, these guys. Yeah. Uh, but I just kept standing there, smiling, <laughs> after coming up with this genius solution to solve everyone's problem. <laughs> Okay, uh, and then hey presto after a couple of more minutes that, uh, where the guys couldn't get hold of their boss and probably wanting to just go for a shit themselves they let us go <laughs> as soon as they left I got a bunch of, uh, a punch to the balls from the guys and headed off to the queue for the shit that I still hadn't had <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even get to have his shit <laughs> I love that that's quite a simple story it's like you you could just let us go. Yeah, yeah. That's a, a poo that went wrong. Listen, basically. if it works, Actually, if it works, I it take works. It back. I want to know what festival that was. Well, just so no avoid the, story, the wooded John. areas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We need the poos coming after them. <laughs> Today's the day the teddy bears are having their picnic. <laughs> <laughs> Someone bought a brown loaf. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>